A lot of times when we start talking about enhancement or living longer or being smarter, mm -hmm. people seem to be um, reluctant. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't want to change who I am. It's not natural. How or what mechanisms do you see that will help us make these transitions? That's a good question. One of the best studies on enhancement attitude I ever read uh, is about fundamentalness to self. So they asked a lot of students uh, about a long list of traits. Which of these ones are fundamental to your sense of self? Who are closest to the core of your being? And then uh, they used that to rank them. And then they compared that to the likelihood of students saying, I would like to take a pill that enhances these traits. And there was a very strong negative correlation. So being alert and having good memory, that was regarded as not terribly important for your core sense of self. And people were generally fairly OK with that. I think 46% wanted to enhance memory. Meanwhile, kindness, only 9%. The kind of emotional things, they were seen as close to the sense of who I am, and people didn't really want to change that. So I think it's pretty likely that if you bring out a lot of enhancement pills on the market, people are mainly going to go for things they don't really regard as core part of themselves. Mm -hmm. From a philosophical standpoint, it's the core stuff that's kind of interesting and complicated, but people in general probably don't want to go there. So I think the personal identity part is kind of interesting. If I were to change myself too much, there wouldn't be an Anders anymore. But maybe that Anders Plus being would actually be so good that I should actually voluntarily give up my place for Anders Plus. <laughs> Um, and uh, at least intellectually, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm having my suspicions that emotionally, I would perhaps not actually want to go there. But it's an interesting uh, thought experiment. I also, this is also a kind of practical. Uh, motivations are dangerous things to change. So you could imagine a little altruism pill. You take it to become more altruistic. Now you're real altruistic and uh, you want to help everybody and you realize if I were even more altruistic, I would be better at helping everyone. So now you take two or the altruism two plus uh, pill. So then you end up with something like Mahatma Gandhi, which might indeed be very good for a lot of people, but it's no longer you. So motivations, they are tricky because they might actually act as a kind of slippery slopes where you move in very far in a direction you didn't originally intend. So I think one should be careful about it.